of just confessing and crying. Mama, you're right. Some of them even went and smoked cigarettes and all kind of stuff. She told them exactly what they'd done to the team. And they were just trembling with fear and, and repentance. And Mother, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right, Mother. We did do it exactly how you said it. And she had about eight kids. And she told them, even all the way down to the little bitty ones. What they had been doing, if it was just running through the house and throwing things around, whatever it was, to the older kids who had done much worse things. But she was a wise woman because she was a godly woman who was a praying woman, and her kids could not fool her. You see, that's one of the things about being a wise woman. If you are a wise woman, you will be a praying woman. Because you understand that you need God for you and for your children. Because we need God's guidance and, and, and times when our kids are going to school because you don't know what's out there that can harm them. But one thing about it, if you pray God's covering over them, if you plead the blood of Jesus over them, then you understand that God's going to be there to protect them no matter who's looking out there. Uh, we're in a time now where people are so concerned and afraid because of the evilness of various men and many kinds of pedophiles are lurking out there. But when you are a wise woman, you can be confident in that when you send your kids to school, that I pray God blessing, I pleaded the blood of Jesus over them, and I pleaded that God would cover them and put his angels around them. So when they go to school, you don't have to be worried all day long because you know God got their back. Because when you are a praying woman, you understand that when you dispatch God, uh, uh, have God to dispatch angels, uh, because the Bible says the prayer of a righteous person, I say, of a much. Uh, you understand that because of your relationship with God, that when I pray, something will happen. Uh, because when you establish that kind of relationship with God, uh, the way wise women do, uh, you understand that God will come to your rescue. Uh, just when you need him to. Uh, you understand that you can be what God wants you to be. Uh, uh, we need some Debra's in the church today. Uh, we need some Esther's that were standing up in evil times today. Uh, we need some Hannah's in the church today. Uh, our mothers that know how to pray over their children. Uh, and you see, God would answer wise, godly women. Uh, because as you develop your relationship with God. God will come when you call on Him to protect your children. You won't be worried throughout the day because I already dispatched my angels to come and cover them. I'm living in a time where we need women to understand that you can build up your house. We need women that understand the power that God has in you uh, to be the queen of your castle, uh, to be the woman that decides uh, if your house is going to be built up uh, or is it going to be put down. Uh, women have that kind of authority. Uh, it's time for the wise women to stand up uh, and make yourself known in the community, uh, in your home, uh, in your neighborhood. Uh,
that prayer is powerful. A wise woman is a prayed woman. A godly woman. A woman that understands that I can pray my way out of any situation. Because women have that innate, innate ability to just stay close to God because of the tenderness that he placed in women, the caring, the supportiveness, the motherness, that motherly oversight to see a situation until it improves. That's why I see a situation through until it improves. That's why a mother would stay over her child's bed from sunup to sundown, sundown to sunup, until she see the child it's food. See him getting well. See her getting well. Mother have that ability to, that long suffering ability to stay there when everybody else leave the room and go and get in the, get in the bed. Mother still up praying, walking the floor over her child, anointing her child, staying right there. And that same persistence that mothers have put, that God had put in mothers to care for their children. Mothers have that same endurance, persistence, 